Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. I take time every week and I share in my time in the Word in the hopes to be an encouragement to you in your walk with Christ. Uh, I've just recently um, gotten back from a time of retreat um, with uh, some friends that are in ministry. And we had talked about uh, the importance of taking time to seek after the person of God. Talked about some healthy rhythms to make sure that that happens. One of the things that we had talked about is a commonly quoted psalm. Um, Be still and know that I am God. Uh, Psalm 46, as it kind of unfolds, is a display of all that God is capable of and all that God does. And um, and then there's this phrase that is commonly quoted. In the Hebrew, the word for be still can also be translated to loosen our grip. Um, to loosen your grip and know that he is God. And so today, I'm not sure what that could mean for you. But we have relationship hardships and we have workplace hardships and we have financial hardships and we have medical hardships and we have all of these broken things in this world and everything in us tells us to to white knuckle, to grab on, to by the strength of our own arm fix the problem or to uh, find an answer. And the invitation from Scripture, and one that I pray over you today, is to let go of our grip and remember all that God is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray that over you, and I hope that the rest of your day is blessed. Father God, thank you for the still moments where we can sit and listen to bird song, where we can sit and be reminded of your sovereign control and care over everything in creation. As we seek to step forward as reflections of you in the world around us, help us to always point back to your loving hand, uh, your strong right arm, uh, your shepherd presence that is in our life. Father, help us to point back to your love, to your hand, and help us, of course, to remember that it's you to loosen our grip, to be still and remember you. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.